point you guys, um, I'm going to show you guys how to make an assist hook or make your own assist hooks. Basically what you need first is you need just a normal American fishing wire. Um, this is number seven but it doesn't really matter. And what you do is you bend it into a loop and you cut it off. This is just for the splicing purpose and then you need Dyneema or Dacron. There's a lot of different types available in the market nowadays. Um, you get some Kevlar ones, you get ones that have got wire braided through it. In case the fish have teeth, this is just normal um, Dacron. So basically what you're doing is you're going to splice it. So your American fishing wire, it's got a hollow inner. You slide the wire into the, into the, the Dyneema and you feed it over the wire all the way. Obviously you can make this as long as you need your assist hook. Push it through and you go a little bit longer than what you've threaded. Cut it off, get a good pair of braid scissors because this stuff's quite hard to, to cut and bite. And then all you do is you just push the one end that you're going to splice through, through that loop you've made on the wire. And then you pull it through. The trick is to try to keep this a bit loose as it goes through. It does take a bit of persuasion sometimes, but once it goes through, it's pretty easy. There we go, it's going now. Um, another trick as well is just to put the loop around a pair of pliers so that you don't close the loop completely when you pull it through. And there's my tag in there. What I did is I put it around the pliers so that I didn't close the loop completely. Okay, then you can, you can obviously adjust that size of that loop. Um, it only really needs to go um, over the hook shank. So you can make it quite, quite small. And then all you do is you just pull it so it becomes a little bit thinner, a little bit tighter. As you can see, that's, that's a spliced loop. Okay, what I'm going to be using today is a mustard hoodlum, five extra strong. These are specifically designed for jigging. Um, you do put a lot of pressure on fish with these assist hooks. So you can use a really, really heavy gauge hook, which is quite nice. I also quite like a heavy hook because the way an assist hook works is a fish will come and he'll flare his gills and he'll inhale the hook. So with the hook being heavy, you've got more chance of it going into his mouth. So I quite like the, the extra, extra heavy hooks, jigging hooks. Okay, what I'm going to do is exactly like I, I did on the circle hooks. You come in from the top of the hook, through the eye of the hook like so. So again, when you're putting pressure, you're turning the hook inwards, not the other way around. Whereas if it was coming out, the hook would turn away when you put pressure on the fish. Again, I'm giving myself enough space to tie. Some guys will actually just bind that off and heat shrink it. Um, I just tie a figure of eight and I find that's more than okay. So I'll start with a loop quite far, quite far, well, very close to the eye of the hook. And I just tie a figure of eight around my fingers. Put the tag in through. So there's my figure of eight. If you open it up, you can see the figure of eight. And then all I do is I just pull that tight. And you can adjust the length of the assist hook um, as you're pulling it tight. And then basically I'm just going to pull it tight over the pliers and the scissors. And that's nice and tight. And then all you do is you cut this little flared end off. Not too close, because the stuff does, uh, it does tend to flare, like you see there. Um, and then all you would do is you would just burn that end. Um, some guys will even put a um, heat shrink over here, just to make it a little bit neater. But that's basically it, yeah. So you have a lighter. And you just burn the end, burns quite easily. That's going to stop it from flaring. And that's your basic assist hook. You see here I've got a, 
a few different uh, examples of what I've actually made at home. Um, different sizes, all the extra, extra heavy is a slightly bigger one. Um, they're all tied with different types of Dyneema and Dacron. Um, it's just personal preference. And then rigging it, obviously, it just loops off like so. Just goes around the, around the hook. And it comes off. So if you wanted to put, say, a new one on, you just go through the loop, put the eye of the hook through there, pull it over, and there's a new assist hook rigged. You can even go double assist hooks if you wanted to. Um, on the jigs, I quite often go with double assist hooks. So yeah, the application, obviously, you can change your jigs. Um, they do wear and tear, and fish with teeth bite them, so they do get worn out. So it is quite cool to have a few of these um, pre-rigged. Um, also, like things like drop shots and bucktail jigs, this hook is not the strongest. And you can actually put an assist hook on the eye of the, eye of the jig, and it works pretty, pretty well like that, and it's a much stronger connection.